Hi guys, so there is no getting around it that to achieve weight loss and to achieve fat loss, you need to find a calorie deficit with what you are eating. But what I'm finding too much of recently or certainly seeing is that people are going to the extreme and depriving themselves and their bodies massively of calories in order to reach their goal um, as quick as possible without having any sort of regard for their health or what it is going to do to them physically and mentally long term. So you might be thinking, Paul, what's the issue? They're going to achieve their goal a lot quicker in a shorter space of time um, and they're going to be a lot happier for that. Well, yeah, that's true. And if the person um, can handle an extreme way of eating, depriving their body and themselves of um, calories and nutrients that their body needs for the long term, then why should I be the one to stop them? They, they can crack on with that. But the fact is the normal Joe Bloggs person cannot handle um, an extreme deficit for the long term. And if you want proof of that, just think of a handful of people that you know that have started a Slimming World diet, a Weight Watchers diet, um, and they are right back at square one again. And they keep doing that time and time again. Why is that? It's because physically and mentally what they've started and the sheer extreme nature it's brought about with deprivation of calories and deprivation of nutrients that their body needs, they just can't handle it. So it gets to a point where they get to weekends or they get to two or three weeks in where they end up just overeating. So they'll be sticking to um, the diet that they're on, their extreme diet they're on for four or five days of the week, but because mentally and physically their bodies can't cope with it, they just end up eating double or treble the amount of calories that they're supposed to be on. So they just end up back at where they were at when they started the diet. And this is something I've seen time and time again. You know, we have some very clever and very well educated individuals on this planet. Yet when they start a diet, all that seems to go out the window and they lose the, one of the most important things um, <laughs> that we need when it comes to us and our health, which is common sense. And they'd rather start something which is extreme, which their bodies and their mind can't handle, which gives them an instant result, rather than thinking, actually, why don't I start something that I can maintain long term, which is still going to bring about results, but is going to be slightly delayed and slightly long term. So people are too, um, too adamant on hitting instant kind of gratification rather than delaying that gratification. Um, but sometimes that delayed gratification will mean that you'll still hit your results, but a little bit longer, but ultimately have a better relationship with food and with your body. And more importantly, find something that works for you long term. Yet we have too many people that are, are in this camp of instant gratification, which ultimately means they're going round in the circle of losing weight, putting on weight, losing weight, putting on weight again. And the reason why that is, is because they are starting something their bodies and their mind can't handle and can't cope with. So my advice to you today would be to make sure that when you think about starting a new diet, you A, can start something that you feel you can maintain long term, and that also you look forward to, you enjoy, and that you know that physically and mentally your body can handle long term.